Hey guys, David Risley here with PCMech.com and I wanted to show you how to quickly and fairly easily get around an issue with a lot of DSLRs. Now this is a DSLR that I have and when it comes to recording video like a lot of them do these days this one does not have an external microphone jack. Now a lot of, a lot of the more expensive ones these days and quite frankly most of the DSLRs now have an external microphone jack. If it doesn't, you really need to think about that when it comes to making videos because what happens is the, the, the built-in microphone catches everything going on in the environment. It can be really noisy and it just basically sounds like crap. So this camera is a Canon T1i. This is uh, the T3i's have an external uh, microphone jack, but the T1i does not. So here's what I did to get around that. I picked up the Zoom, I think it's the uh, H1 microphone. Now this is a little portable microphone, really small. It's got this little sock that goes on, but this is basically what it looks like, and I've got a tripod hooked to it right now. But it's a real small little thing. It'll fit in the pocket quite easily. It records in both, I think, wave format and MP3. You have the option of which one you want to go for. So it's really, really cool. Now the really cool thing about this is not only does it pick up better audio from the environment because of the speakers and, it's, and their condenser microphones built into it, but it has an external microphone jack. So what you can do is grab something like this, which is an Audio-Technica lavalier mic. This is the uh, ATR35S lavalier microphone. Um, cheap. It's like under $20. I picked up this one on Amazon. In fact, I picked up two of them. Uh, this one, it's kind of a mess because I've been using it. Um, and it's a great little microphone. It's, it is a wired one, as you can tell. Uh, but, the, but the audio quality is pretty good on that. So what you can do is plug this lavalier mic into this. Just simply put the Zoom H1 into your pocket as you record a video. Nobody can see it. You'll just have the lavalier just kind of hanging down and maybe stuff all the wire in your pocket or something like that. And you've got yourself a nice setup. Now, the only remaining issue is going to be how do you sync up the audio with the video coming from your SLR because they're going to be recorded separately. So you're going to have built-in audio still with the DSLR. It's just going to use the crappy mic. So what you're going to want to do is as you start hitting recording, you want to clap really loud three times. The reason you're going to do that is so that the recording on both the Zoom H1 and on the DSLR pick up the claps. And then when you take it into video editing, what's going to happen is you're going to see the spikes on the audio meter. So all you're going to simply do is drag the audio and the video together and so that the spikes line up. you got three spikes and as long as they all line up perfectly, you know that your audio and your video will be in sync. That's how you do it. This Zoom H1, I picked it up for, I think it was about 99 bucks. It's a hell of a lot cheaper than buying another DSLR, I'll tell you that much. And I hope it'll help you out when you record your videos. I mean, DSLRs make some really great videos. Um, even the T1i and some of the older DSLRs, they make good videos, even if they don't have all the fancy stuff that some of the newer ones have. But if you can work out this audio thing, you can get a lot more life left out of the camera that you've already got and save yourself several hundred dollars. Okay, hope that helped and I'll talk to you soon.